Hi guys, my name's Matt. I'm going to talk to you today about how to eat healthy while working on a budget. I'm going to start off with actually where to buy your food from. So if you're eating at kind of M&S, Waitrose, you kind of want to put your pride to one side and try out shops like Aldi, Lidl and even Morrison's. The food is a lot cheaper and is just as good, if not better. So we'll start off with breakfast, the first meal of the day, and I know a lot of uni students can actually skip breakfast in the morning because either they don't have time or they just can't be bothered. But if you skip breakfast in the morning, you're just going to be hungrier for lunch and you're going to eat more at lunch. So it's wiser to start off with a healthy breakfast in the morning. So for me, the healthiest and by far the cheapest option that I have for breakfast is Weetabix. A good way to have this in the morning is top it with a little bit of fruit. Some people have it with berries or bananas and that way you're getting one of your five a day as well as having that nutrition from the Weetabix itself. I eat mine with semi-skim milk and a glass of fruit juice as well because then you're getting another one of your five a day before your day has even really started. I think if you go to Aldi for your Weetabix and you eat about two Weetabix a day, it works out at 10 pence per breakfast regardless of the other stuff you have with it. So obviously that's really, really cheap and a great way to start your day. Now, lunch is a tricky one because if you're at home, it can be really, really tempting to just make a pot noodle or something like that. And if you're in uni, it can be tempting just to get something from a cafe or get a Greg's pasty. If I know I'm going to be in uni around lunchtime, I find the best thing to do is take like a, a packed lunch of sorts. Um, which I'll prepare at home and take into uni with us. For me, that usually consists of one main thing, uh, a packet of crisps and a piece of fruit. It's really, really basic, but the main thing I usually take is either a sandwich or a yogurt. I'm not talking about like a tiny little yogurt thing. I'm talking about preparing something at home, getting some low-fat yogurt, getting some fruit and granola, putting it in, mixing it all up and having that for my lunch alongside my other stuff. Now, when it comes to your evening meal, tea, dinner, whatever you call it, you want to keep it really basic and healthy. So for me, that means like a piece of meat or supplement or something like that. Um, some veg and maybe a little side dish as well. I know Asda are really good for cheap meat. They do um, three for a tenner, which means you can get, I think, like 18 pork chops for 10 quid or something ridiculous. Um, but obviously Aldi, Lidl, they're all really cheap for that kind of stuff as well. And when it comes down to veg, if you're in the shop, you see it's green, it's good. Um, if it's a green vegetable, it's full of good stuff and usually it's quite cheap. You know, your spinach, broccoli, cabbage, that sort of thing. So keep an eye out for that stuff. Everything's good in moderation. So if you want to have a few chips and stuff on the side, that's fine. Just don't go mad with them. Obviously a really popular dish for students is pasta. If you're going to make pasta, I tend to make quite a lot of it because then you can always put it in a Tupperware box and have it for your lunch the next day so you're not wasting any food. Obviously keep it nice and healthy, get loads of veg in there and stuff as well. That was a few tips on how to eat healthily on a budget. Um, thanks for watching. Bye for now.